Okay, I guess we'll try to find him. This was door he a thief, was closed though? Earlier. Which door? The one I just passed through? And is he really a thief? Are you automatically a thief just for entering a place? I don't really know what he took. Oh. I can only use door when when I have light. Oh yeah, this is just the, the burnt room. Okay. So we did a bit of a reach around. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Oh, there's a small one down here. This Dr. Fuller. Was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? Charles, I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah is in good hands here at the Riverside Institute. It goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and a high level of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself if she is placed in a secure environment and surrounded by qualified staff. The decision of yours, of course. The decision is yours, of course. But I seem to understand that you are running out of time. Your friend Thomas Fuller. Oh, I guess that was the only hidden one here. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. One of his foreign trips. Not to be confused with one of his local trips. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Interesting. Oh boy, this is this is detailed. Uh, well, Lovecraft did seem to be pretty terrified of a lot of things going on over here in Africa. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Arabia, I think that's uh, where the guy that wrote the Necronomicon lived, right? Nope. Doesn't work. I'll need more clues. I must have missed something. Yeah, see, this clearly opens. It's got the scratch marks. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Yeah, it moves on a hinge. Look at this secret entrance. I just need to find out what I need to set that globe to. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Yeah, they're posing with a third man. They seem very close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. Well, there's a map on the table here. Oh, there's a lot on the table. Okay, it's a it fills up my oil lamp. That's good to know. It looks like an old seaway map. Great. This is is this something I'm going to need to know? Or is the game just going to tell me what I got to do once I have this information? It's not telling me shit. What do you have to have say? Have seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Okay. Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? More like an adventurer. He left for months, exploring remote places and abandoned temples. Have you seen the old maritime maps on huh. Charles Hawkins' desk? So it's not going to give it away. No ship has left Darkwater's shore. Well, all I need is one point. And all points seem to be in at Darkwater. Which uh, isn't too far from home, apparently. Let's see, because I live right about here. 
Yeah, I live right about there. Apparently dark water was here. Doesn't work. Maybe this spot? I must have missed something. Doesn't hmm. work. I must have missed something. Oh, there's something here too. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Nothing on the back, of course. Okay, this this must add even more to it. Oh, there's Seems something like else this here. This came from a log. Okay, Dark Water Island we sailed north all morning. Canada says it will be the over extremely dark and merciful. 47 north, 35 west. I preferred it when the whales disappeared without a trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with blood of the sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told him that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I am scared. We have sighted a huge whale in distance. It seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. We've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Dark Water. We have beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. Sill and Hamilton are only memories. Maybe it's where the whale was sighted? 57 north, 51 west? There must be a link with the sea wing map. Oh, now I can look at this. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Okay. Now there's something in here. No, there isn't. I must have to see these things in a certain order. What was that? Was there a thing over here? Now when I access this, will it just tell me what to do? Guess not. Oh, one of them is highlighted. I didn't see that because I was just looking at the text. So that's the Wednesday one. Where they caught it. Okay. So 33 north, 53 west. 33 north, 53 west. I guess it would be... 53 would be around here. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. And each is 15. So this would be zero. That, that, and then a bit higher. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Oh no, 30 would be here-ish. The very center of this? Oh. Looks like it worked. It's super obvious. There's a big symbol there. I just should have I should have just brute forced it a while longer. Well Look, done, it's just please. a fucking symbol. I should have known to just try that symbol. Oh well. I did it the hard way. Inside the Hawkins mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man left into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, the detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley entered the tunnel under the mansion. I'm going to help myself to some jalapeno chips while I wait. These things fucking burn my mouth to all shit. I have a canker sore in my mouth that I mentioned earlier. And these jalapeno Pringles are not helping. But damn, are they delicious. 
Oh, that hurt so much. Oh, it brings a tear to your eye. How good the flavor is. It has nothing to do with the pain. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. It is like a detective novel. You're not wrong. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? More than just a tunnel. Look. Someone's been here recently. Three seats. Oh, doing some reconstructive scenery. Not being fused with reconstructive surgery. Alright. There's a strange thing on this table. But that's not what we're examining first. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Oh, remember there was three people in that, uh... Three people in that, um, picture. I remember we saw these faceless dudes in that dream. But are they faceless? Or do they just have faces we don't recognize? I want to know more about this thing. What is thing. this mask supposed to represent? That's all we have to say about that. And there's fucking this shit. Yeah, this box too. I noticed this box when I came in. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? Doesn't seem like anything else holds any color. I think this means I just cannot go that way. Yeah. That's just the abyss. Nothing else really seems to hold any color, though. Oh, here we go. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Wow, that's hard to spot. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? She was rubbing up against it. That's how her dress got caught. It's telling me that there's still secrets about. I just need to find the next one. Appears to be on this guy. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Well, I got the check mark and the notice telling me to stop. I would like to know what's in that chest then. Maybe it's Sarah Hawkins' head. Oh, we know. She had a head the whole time, I think. What's in here? This padlock is too complicated for me. Dang. I need to upgrade my padlock skill. Okay, I guess I'll just move on with Mr. Bradley here. I'm gonna call him Doug. Should I have spoken to him first? Perhaps I will. Nope, never mind. Anyways, I guess if you have a lamp. Yeah, there's like there's like there's green goo here that I keep seeing. I'm gonna save my stuff if you have a lamp. Your lamp is probably infinite. So I'm just gonna use your light. I guess I could just use my lighter too. It's not nearly as good, but it's not like this game is particularly dark unless it's in spots that it's really trying to be dark. Are we just stopping here? There's quite a bit more descending Here's, we can do. Where are you going? I can't keep up with you in this darkness. Are you scared? I want to see how far these steps go. Who's talking about being scared? Wait for you by the door. Okay. Maybe this is a job for a lantern. Oh, there's something here. It's a scooch hole. 
I was my next thing was gonna be to try to crouch under some of those boards. I cannot go back. Okay. Cause I was thinking maybe I should try that the door he was by. Cause this seems some kind of less and less touch. optional all the time. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. I bash my head into it then? A lot of these creepy ass things down here, huh? That one's just a like a jaw though. Oh, that's notable. These paintings must be several centuries old. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by the creature some call the Devourer of Whales. For years, the creature hunted them down into their dreams until their weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark water surrounding the island and never came back. Yeah, that's some cool shit. Oh, even more. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. No, I think that's just a real thing. That's just an, an elder god. A sleeping sea creature. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Yeah, look at that thing. That's that's a Dagon for sure. Dagon don't fuck around. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. A sunken city? Yeah, that that works. That's in line with a lot of things I know too. Do I want to jump down from here? I'm not so sure that I'm done. I mean, there's this big statue that I didn't comment on. I guess there's just nothing to say about it. Yeah, this ladder really is considerably weaker. I got a CP for doing that. Probably put my lighter away, he's gonna spot me. I'm hot on the trail of well some cultists. And it looks like you found our fugitive. This door is securely shut. I'll look for another passage. It's an underground cave. We can advance this side. Yeah, I can see that. You, uh, please excuse me, but given your condition, I'll stick to my idea. I'm not cut out for this kind of acrobatics. All right. Look for another entrance. I'll try to catch up with our man. Can I not just open this? Nope, guess not. I'm going to assume that if I had tried the door from that side, it would have been the same thing. I was once again just getting ahead of myself. Time has weakened these structures. Well, then I better be fucking careful. But still very thorough in my search. I guess I'm going to be on my own for a while while I'm waiting for uh, Mr. Bradley to catch up. Didn't really seem like there was any other ways to get in here. So if he's not going to take my way or get through that door, I don't, I don't think he's going to catch up at all. all. Let's head down into the water. This game has been... Yeah, it's, it's all that fart gas that was leaking out before. Oh, this one's spilled, but it doesn't seem to be affecting me. All this fart gas and ectoplasm.
All right, all, all signs lead to this. And of course it's openable. I've been very thorough, thorough. What's going on here? This is a very big place to explore. Keep your voice down. Oh, he made it. Great. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh man, I hope I hope you have a gun. We sure could use a gun. Stick to my lighter. Since I've already burned through quite a bit of that fuel. Oh, I guess I was crouching that whole time too. Oh, this place is particularly dark, so I'll use this. Until we get to this space. Well, I mean, I've I've definitely found the thief's trail. It's led me to this spooky ass place. Apparently, there are many thieves. But it seems to me that uh, this Charles guy had business with them, so maybe this place also belongs to them. They're not thieves at all. Oh, this this shark or small whale has been cut right now. Sacrifice. I'm not crouching, am I? No, it's just a very high table. Ew, I, kn I knelt in the goop. Yuck. There's a- is that the picture of me again? He, has, he doesn't have anything to say about that? Ah, what's this? An engraved whale bone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Oh wow, they even modeled the inside. That's some work. I can barely make out the creature I'm looking at on this thing. A oh, there's grave. There's a pit in the middle of the room that I for some reason didn't see this whole time. Or fell into by accident. Is this where we just dump our shit? Is this the Dagon hole? I've seen the Dagon hole in my time. A table for sacrifice? Oh, now I can look at this. I needed to acknowledge the Dagon hole. Nope, into the Dagon hole with us. Oh God. I got I got it. Is my boy okay? Ugh, shark face. I can't breathe. Oh, this is a lot like my dream, isn't it? What's happening? I need to flee. No time for investigating. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Yeah, I guess it's this way then. Maybe it's not quite like my dream, but it certainly started like it. Let's get through the scooch hole. Is it... Is it my turn? Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. And you're very confident, Good too. Enough. Prove it to us. <laughs> Good enough. It's like in my dream. Oh, uh, yeah, I already pieced that together. I must be, in real life, a really great detective. If I'm ahead of this fictional detective this many times. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I found this dagger in the tunnels under Hawkins Manor. Its owner left it behind when he went with the other hooded men. Uh, 
Item obtained, ritual. Am I... Is there going to be combat in this? That's what I gotta wonder about. Oops. Pre-classical Latin? Let's see what it says. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh, I think that just puts up my occultism. What is this awakening they talk about? And this sacred flesh? Yeah, it sounds like stuff that's none of my business. Yeah, I'm going to be expected to crouch under there. Cause this will be locked, right? Yeah, I've played a video game before. Okay, it is pretty dark. Let's go lantern. Yeah, this is a uh, this is where I found the lantern the first time, is it not? And I came down here and saw that splashing off in the distance. I mean, that was quite a while ago, so I only vaguely recall it. Yeah, best turn my light off. No doubt they could see me though. <laughs> that light was pretty bright. Yeah, I'm in control again. Oh, yep, I'm familiar with those words. Grant him your flesh and accept his. So that his body and yours may be one. I... I feel him. Shh. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. We pray for your Bring me more of the sacred. I mean, I want to see what the ritual is all about, but at the same time, I don't think I want to be noticed. And there's... these guys are presumably dead. Well, there's something here. Let's take a look dead. at their bodies. This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? It says sleeping cultist in that little description. So I really we don't know what to believe. Ready for the ceremony. What oh. about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Maybe I can go this way now. This doesn't seem like a way I can go. Oh, it totally is. I just had to sneak around the ritual. Someone's going to be joining them shortly, though, so I'm probably going to end up running into them. Is there even more creepy shit going on in this room? Can't you just focus on one ritual at a time? I mean, it's got to be distracting for whoever the rituals are for, right? Oh, it's my boy. We, we're up to some shit. Get your gun out, dude. It's a situation where you need guns. Like I got tentacle hands. Police. Don't move. Oh, look at him. I like the way they just reveal his face briefly with the light. He doesn't give a shit. Oh yeah, now we get to see him. He's a cool ass dude.
Not a lot of ways I can go, huh? Oh jeez. Yeah, let's let's leave. Is that a way this way? Oh, careful! Oh, not that way then. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, be careful. It's strange how those rocks got so dark all of a sudden. Let's not worry about it. This scene still looks really cool. It's very rapid. A little messy, but I really like it. Ah, my leg. Ah. My leg. Am I in control now? No, I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, someone else got crushed pretty too. Or pretty badly as well. I lost my words for a second. I'm, I'm doing better off than that guy at least. Should have brought that ritual dagger with me. Oh, another crushed cultist. Oh, towards the light, obviously. Or is, is moving towards the light maybe light. something I don't want to do? At last. It's a green, eerie light. It's not a warm, comforting light. And I got rocked right in the face. Pierce and Officer Bradley followed the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in the network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rockfall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. Oh, Dr. Fuller, I've heard about you. I'm pretty fucked up, and I appreciate you unfucking me up. If that is what you're doing. Because you kind of also look like a villain. He's having a seizure. I've heard bad things about seizures. Oh, she's got the goop. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. What did you do to me? Oh, I thought he was bald. Under Never seen traps. him without the hat. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Your dad, he killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No. Well, I mean, I wasn't really, really dead. I could have just been knocked out by that rock. And I don't really know if that hand penetrated Bradley. It kind of looked like he stabbed it into him, but who can say for sure? Wow, talk about getting out of bed really quickly. You're going to get a Where fucking head rush. I do not have my light equipment. And I'm being fucking bombarded by fart gas. <laughs> this foul gas again. What is this gas doing to us? Please. I don't want him to find me. Best of luck, buddy. Well, there's not a hell of a lot in this room. Oh, my piss bucket. My piss pot. I guess I'll just wait. 
I just got up to uh, check out the gas and look at that friend. And I just wake up in this room. <laughs>